All right, this one's the, probably one of the harder ones, this pendulum. So we've got a pendulum. It's all about drawing the diagram. And the pendulum, actually, let me do it this way. I'm going to make a dashed line for where the cord would be when it's at equilibrium, when the, when the ball is all the way down. And I'm going to make a blue line right here. Actually, let's make this a little bit longer. And at the end of this, there's the ball, right? It has some mass. I think they gave us the mass. I think, well, no, they didn't. We're going to solve the mass. So, and then we know that this angle here is five degrees, right? But we do know uh, what we can do is we can find mg going down. That's always straight down. But what they've told us is that they have to hold it with a force of 40 newtons. Now, if you think about it, what we've got is we have a triangle. Let me make this longer. I think it's going to be better if it's longer. Let's make this longer. And then what I can do is that you've got, this is made up of a triangle that's going to look like this, okay, where this right here is 5 degrees. But the force that you're holding it with, if you will, is this force right here. But that is going to be equivalent to the force that's holding it back. Now, we know we have M g but we know that the force here is 40 newtons right so this is 40 newtons which is pulling it in this direction right so if i know that the question is can i find mg right now we know an angle five degrees so i can say um this is the hypotenuse so I can, this is the angle, this is the opposite, right? So I can say sine of angle, sine theta, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? So, but I know these numbers, except one. So sine of theta, I want to solve for the hypotenuse, if that makes sense. Because actually, you might think of it this way. Yeah, what is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is equal to mg, right? So I can say... M G sine theta equals the opposite. Okay, but I know everything here except M, right? So I want to find the mass of this object. So that's the first step, is find the mass of this object. G, of course, is 9 point, so M times 9.8 times the sine of 5 degrees. Make sure your calculator's in degrees, not radians, equals 40 because this is the opposite number. And then you're going to solve for the mass. So once you solve for the mass, we use that in the second arrangement. We then draw another pendulum, right? Boom, pendulum. But in this case, we're going to hold it with a 10-degree angle. So again, I'll draw my straight arrow down, and then I'm going to have a line now we've got a bigger angle that's 10 degrees i've got a ball right here zoom this in and then it's really the same deal right here we've got a hypotenuse and then we've got this and this remember the question is what force are you holding it back if this angle right here is 10 degrees but in this case now we know the mass and so this number right here, this hypotenuse, is known. And that's going to be m times 9.8, or mg. So whatever you got from the m over here becomes the m right here. So then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to say sine of now 10 degrees is equal to opposite. And you're trying to find the opposite. The opposite here, the, um, this would be the force that you're holding it, I'll say H or something, divided by mg. And then you're trying to now solve for this. So you do some simple algebra and you find the answer.